Well, as Democrats usher in a new power shift in Congress last night, incoming House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jared Nad Jerry Nadler introduced a bill that would block President Trump from fi firing special counsel Robert Mueller. This on the heels of newly elected House Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying the president's office does not necessarily protect him from indictment. Let's bring in Tom Dupree, former deputy assistant attorney general under President George W. Bush. Tom, always great to have you on the program. A couple couple questions for you, first of all. Uh, Democrats clearly, day one, uh, they make a move to protect Robert Mueller in this new Congress. What does this tell you about where this investigation goes in the new year? Absolutely. And look, Sandra, this is not a surprise at all. The Democrats were always very open about what they plan to do if they were to seize power in the House. And I think this bill is the first in what will likely be a long series of Mueller protection measures intended to protect the special counsel and the investigation from Trump termination. In my opinion, though, I think it's unnecessary. I think the president has been getting a lot of advice, good advice, in my view, not to fire Bob Mueller. So I think it's an open question as to whether this measure is even needed. And I don't think it has much of a chance of making it all the way through the Senate. In a joint statement, Nadler, along with Jackson, Lee, and Cohen, uh, yesterday released the following uh, statement. Quote, as the special counsel announces new indictments and guilty pleas from Trump's closest allies and associates, it's clear that the threat to the Mueller investigation will only grow stronger. That is their forecast. This is called the Special Counsel Independence and Integrity Act. It would also, by the way, Tom, give spe the special counsel written notice of, of removal and the opportunity to challenge the move in court. Obviously, with a Republican controlled Senate, it's unlikely that they'll take this bill up. But they talked about it and warned of what they called questionable intentions of Whitaker. I mean, I just wonder, I wonder if they're going to get anywhere with this. Well, I, I don't. Look, I think they're doing this for political reasons. And as you point out, this legislation has a lot of very curious stuff in it, including the ability for Bob Mueller, if he were terminated, to go into a federal court and litigate whether his termination was unlawful. I think this raises pretty deep constitutional questions. Anytime you place restrictions on a president's ability to hire and fire members of the executive branch, you start getting into very gray constitutional areas. But look, as I said, I think that this is the first and what will likely be many attempts by the Democrats to make political statements, to try to insulate Mueller. I don't think it's necessary. And even as this uh, investigation starts to reach its end, they say that the heat will be turned up on the president. I guess the other way to look at it is the investigation presumably will also be nearing its end point. And so I think there'll be a lot of sense from the president just to say, let Mueller play the string out. Let's end this. Let's put it all behind us and move on. One more question to you on uh, Nancy Pelosi was asked about the possibility of indictment of the president. She says he's not immune. Uh, she basically left it open ended. Do you agree with the fact that the president is not immune from indictment? Look, I, I think that what Nancy Pelosi seems to be overlooking here is the fact that the Justice Department, going all the way back to the days of Richard Nixon, going up through Bill Clinton under Republican and Democratic administrations alike, they have all concluded that you cannot indict a sitting president, that the constitutionally prescribed remedy for presidential misbehavior is the impeachment process. It's not indicting a sitting president. I think what Speaker Pelosi is saying is, well, the Supreme Court hasn't weighed in. True enough. But the fact that Bob Mueller has indicated that he will respect DOJ guidance and not seek to indict President Trump, I think really closes the book on this question. She says, I think that that, that is an open discussion in terms of the law. Quite clearly, you disagree with that. Tom Dupree, great to have you this morning. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Sandra.